In this screencast I'll show you how to deploy a quiz in Brightspace. So if we click on the geography quiz which we created in the previous video um, the properties tab is the one that we looked at and set up in the previous video where we added the questions and looked at some other options. Now if we click restrictions the first thing that we need to do is to make the quiz active we can then give the quiz a due date. Um, we can also set a start time and date and an end date. So just be careful with, with these two. Um, the quiz won't appear until after this time and then it will completely disappear after the time and date shown here. And also the due date here is, um, is something that we can set and even after the due date students will be able to submit and complete the quiz is, is my understanding of how this works at the moment so just want, want to think about how that is going to fit with with your marking uh, scheme and deadlines and also this end date if the quiz disappears then you know they might not be able to review the feedback as easily uh, if that's gone so uh, there's also an option to display that within the calendar for the module so if we tick that then the students will be able to see that as part of the overall module calendar. We can attach uh, release conditions so this is very handy if we want to only make this quiz available if the student has already completed a certain task. So for example they might need to make some revision notes about geography and upload those to uh, a, a different type of assignment uh, like just a just a, a bright space assignment where they can upload a file and then once that happens they can then take the quiz for example we've also got options around timing so we can have a recommended time limit or enforced time limit if we enforce the time limit we can allow a grace period we can alter that time limit there we can allow the students to continue working or we can prevent them from making further changes um, or we can allow students to continue working but automatically score the attempt as zero after the extended deadline. So there's different options there we can pick, that really depends on how you want the quiz to work. And then there's some special access options down here. Um, this, if you just want all the students to be able to see this you don't need to do anything with, with this. Okay, then if we go to assessment we can automatically grade this and allow it to be graded immediately upon completion. We can add a grade item for this. So we just click on that button that said add grade item and this will then uh, create a column within the, the grade book uh, so that the students grades will be saved. We can add a category if there were any categories we can assign the maximum number of points which is 20 for this quiz and there's other options down here about uh, the grade scheme just percentages fine and rubrics click save we've now got a grade item for this quiz uh, we can allow automatic exports to this and if we click here you can read a bit more about this um, and then Let's just see what else there is. The final thing actually that's quite interesting to look at is the number of attempts. So the default is just one attempt and they keep the highest score. But we could allow four attempts, uh, three attempts or four attempts or an unlimited number of attempts. And then we can say that they keep the score from the lowest or the highest or average them all or the first or the last attempt. So we really just have to set that how we see fit for, for the particular uh, reason that we're setting the quiz. Under objectives, if you've created any uh, learning objectives for the module you can associate these here so that by completing the quiz the students will sort of check off and, and sort of complete a particular learning objective so that will just help them to see how they're progressing through the module. In terms of submission views the default view is that they'll immediately see uh, a response, but they won't see the questions or the stats. And so that just gives the students, that just shows what they'll immediately see. 
um, but we can add additional views so if we click add additional view here we can give this a name so I'm going to just call this view feedback after due date and then there could be a message here I can set a date for when this is going to happen I can so I've set that for after the due date so that they're only going to get the feedback after everything's been completed um, then there's options here I'm going to click yes and I'm going to show all the questions with user responses I'm going to show question answers I'm going to show the question score and also to here we've got the option to show the attempt score and overall score attempt and if we wanted to we could show the class average and the class distribution I'm not going to check those for now but they are options within this if we click save then we've added an additional way that the students will see feedback from from this quiz report setup we can set things up in here so that uh, we can add a report so that a report will be run for us and we'll get some information about how the quiz performed and how the students performed on the quiz. For now we're just going to click save and close and overall that is how we can deploy a quiz within Brightspace.